the man was basically saying that independent and some women are afraid to be independent but he was saying independent women can't find men because they're too independent and sometimes men just like peace and they don't like quarrelsome women what the fuck does quarrelsome women mean and why do i have to be your motherfucking peace so that means <laughs> What the fuck does quarrelsome woman mean and why have I got to be your peace? Listen, my dear, um, you don't seem like you're anyone's peace. This woman is probably the quarrelsome woman that these guys are talking about. You seem like a quarrelsome woman and I don't understand how they can't see this. The, the introspection and the self-reflection that is needed to actually, you know, come to conclusions about yourself and become a better person, this woman does not seem to exhibit that type of uh that type of introspective behavior whatsoever she is wondering what a quarrelsome woman is while being a quarrelsome woman is when you come home i must shut up cook up and and you can just fuck me and that's it like i don't have no opinion <laughs> about anything is I that how think, it's gonna be this I man think, was big big on the podcast you know talking that know, shit I I about how it. independent women can't find men because they're too quarrelsome and they're too independent well i've like, seen the thing about is this is this the type of guys that yeah we because to they want to be this this level of delusion this level of delusion. When I done my video, uh, fuck modern day women, this was the type of woman that I'm speaking about. A lot of people got onto me and said, you know what, oh, it's misogynistic, what you're doing, you can't say that about women. Here it is, right here in your face, you can see it for yourselves. No man wants to deal with a woman like this. No man. And if he does deal with a woman like this, sorry, my dear, he's just gonna have sex with you and leave because you are essentially that quarrelsome woman that he's talking about, but you can't see it. Why can't these types of women see these things? I'm, I'm, I'm baffled as to why they can't see it. They saying that mm. a new age women, modern mm. women want traditional men, but we act like men, right? So I'm saying, yes. okay, yes. Let's, look, let's check it this way. Most of you are even still in your beginning stages of fucking finding out what the hell you want to do. You're right. literally just winging life. Right. Most women have have literally bossed up from you lot, not knowing what you want to do and fucking up with us so much and not knowing who you want. And all that. instead of being serious, instead of just saying, look, this is what I found out about men as well this week. This is the type of echo chamber that I spoke about that these modern day women live in. They sit amongst their friends, they speak like this amongst their friends, okay? And they just confirm everything with one another. They don't want another opinion, uh, another perspective. Because if a man like myself was to speak to one of these women, they would probably just say, oh, you're a misogynist. Oh, you know, you're, you display toxic masculinity and all this kind of stuff. So what they want to do essentially is have these echo chambers of complaints and attitude and bad behavior and actually just confirm everything they already feel without trying to grow as an actual person. And that is what is needed. If you're looking for a man, and you know, it sounds like they are, they need to grow to be the type of woman that a man would want. But in these days and times, when a woman says the right things or displays the right type of characteristics, by these types of women, she's called a pick me. She's called the type of woman who is uh, just doing it because she wants a man to pick her. Well, everybody wants to be picked, you know? Who, I, I, I as a man want to be picked, you as a woman should want to be picked. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be picked. And these women are the types of women, in my opinion, that are just gonna stay single for a very long time and become the types of women that guys have sex with and, you know, don't actually have a long-term relationship with. So basically, this is what I found out, I mean, when men, get with you when we get with men we're all in we're like look this is my man I'm yes we're all in how, how men see it is like look i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and take this journey to commit to this woman i'm telling you ask any man that's what they think Where's they're the not office? not most men are not all in that's why well, if they find someone better they're gonna up and leave you tomorrow it might be difficult for them because they don't want to hurt you and Personally, I don't think it's that hard to find anyone much better than 
these women <laughs> who are having this conversation. Um, and that's probably why they're getting left. Your feelings. But because they don't even know and they have no direction, they have no focus, that's why they're so... They're so involved in all these extracurricular fucking activities while they're in a relationship because they're still, they're basically saying, look, I'm going to take this journey and try. To that is it. That's where, that's where the video stops. That's where it ends. Guys, these are the types of women that you stay away from. Okay. You stay away from these women. You do not touch them. You do not, you know, uh, make relationships with them. You can see they're the types of women that will probably bring you nothing but drama in your life. Women. If you are this type of woman, if you can relate to what these women are saying and you have the same attitude and you have the same mannerisms and you have the same thought processes, I'm telling you, you are going to be left on the shelf. Men are not going to deal with you. Some people may say that's misogynistic and, you know, that's uh, toxic masculinity. But at this point in time, you can call it what the hell you want. Uh, the actions are speaking much louder than the words are, or probably just as loud with these women. And these types of women, if you're out there, it's time to grow. It's time to expand. It's time to be more self-reflective. It's time to be more introspective. A lot of the time, we are able to point fingers at other people and say they are the reason why X, Y, and Z is happening. When a lot of the time, it's us.